welcome to all on my channel mathematics with sachin dikshit this is the third lecture on dynamic programming previous lectures we discuss about bellman principle of optimality and some basic terms involving in dynamic programming also we solve some simple examples in dynamic programming in this lecture we solve one more general example on dynamic programming let's start the lecture example divide a quantity b into n parts so as to maximize their product this question this example can also be stated as let f and b denote the maximum value show that f1 of b is equals to b and fn of b is equals to maximum over z between 0 to b of z into fn minus 1 b minus z where z is such that 0 less than or is equals to z less than or is equals to b hence fn b and subdivisions that maximize it that is the example we have to given a quantity b and we have to divide it into n parts so that the product of these n parts will be maximum solution let yi be the ith part of b when b is divided into n parts as y1 y2 y3 dot 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 y i dot 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 y n let y i can assume any non negative value satisfying y1 plus y2 plus so on up to y n is equals to b that means addition of all these n elements is equals to b and all these values are non negative that is all these values are positive this means yi is continuous let fn be a maximum attainable product of these n elements we denote it as fn b is equals to maximum of y1 into y2 into y3 dot 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 up to yn that means fn b is product of these n elements that is maximum attainable product it is denoted into fn of b now by observation this attain maximum of obtainable product is depends on two elements one is n and other is b here b is fixed b is fixed so this fn b is a function of n only fn b is a function of n only and n gives the values from 1 2 3 up to n that means these values are in discrete number that is n is a discrete variable to solve further this example we start with n is equals to 1 2 3 and we have to generalize this first that is the first step and then after the generalization we make generalization is a uh, general statement we prove this general statement by using method of induction first we generalize this n terms let's start with n is equals to 1 for n is equals to 1 it means the quantity b is divided into only one part only one part it is denoted by f1 of b f1 one for number of parts f function b f1 of b is equals to b which is trivial we say it is an equation 
Now consider the second case. <coughs> For n is equals to 2, that is the quantity b is divided into two parts. Now, this is the total quantity is b. We divide it into two parts. Now here they cannot mention the pack the parts are equal parts are different as a result we say we take some part as like this and we denote this first part as z and obviously the remaining part will be b minus z it is the second part and now we have to make its a product that is z into b minus z and we have to find out the value of z such that this product will be maximum. So let y1 is equals to first part that is z, y2 is equals to the second part that is b minus z. Therefore by using Bellman principle of optimality we have f2 of b is equals to maximum over y1 y2 of y1 into y2. Now put the values of y1 and y2. We can write this as f2 of b is equals to maximum over z between 0 to b of z into f1 of b minus z. Since f1 of b is equals to b implies that f1 of b minus z is equals to b minus z. We put these values in equation 2, hence equation 2 can be written as f2 of b is equals to maximum over z 0 to b of z into b minus z. Let z into b minus z is maximized by using calculus as follows. Let y is equals to z into b minus z. As usual, for maximum or minimum of y, dy by dz is equals to 0. Find out its derivative. Apply the product rule. Derivative of z is 1, b minus z as it is, plus z as it is, derivative of b minus z is minus 1 equal to 0. Simplify this, b minus z and this z into minus 1 that is minus z minus z minus z becomes minus 2z. The statement, the expression will be b minus 2z is equals to 0, which gives z is equals to b by 2. Since if we find out its second derivative, second is first derivative b minus 2z, if find out its second derivative, it will be minus 2, derivative with respect to z, and obviously it will be negative. If second derivative is negative, obviously the function y will be maximum at this point that is at z is equals to b by 2. And maximum value of z is equals to z into b minus z at z is equals to b by 2. That means put z is equals to b by 2 in this expression. We get b by 2 into b minus b by 2. But b minus b by 2 gives again b by 2 and b by 2 multiple of b by 2 gives b by 2 bracket square. That is the maximum value. Therefore, y is maximum when y1 is equals to z is equals to b by 2 and y2 is equals to b minus z is equals to b by 2. That means the two parts of b z and b minus z they must be equal and in that case this function y will be maximum hence the optimal policy for n is equals to 2 is y1 y2 is b by 2 b by 2 and f2 of b is equals to b by 2 bracket square this total optimal policy we get one equation number as equation number 3. It means for n is equals to 2, it means if we take two parts, they must be equal and then and then only 
their product will be maximum now come to the case n is equals to 3 for n is equals to 3 again we have this total quantity b now again we have to divide this quantity into three parts let's consider the first part as z and remaining part b minus z is divided into two parts but in this case the division of this b by b minus z into two parts and we have to get a maximum product obviously as a previous case we can here make the two parts of b minus z are equal so that their maximum product is will be their product will be maximum by definition of function maximum attainable product for b minus z divided into two parts is f2 of b minus z therefore the maximum product for b divided into three parts given the initial choice of z is given by z into f2 of b minus z hence by principle by bellman's principle of optimality f3 of b is equals to maximum over z between 0 to b of z into f2 of b minus z equation number 4 since f2 of b is equals to b by 2 bracket square implies that f2 of b minus z is equals to b minus z divided by 2 bracket square replace b b by b minus z we get this expression and now substitute this value in this equation 4 hence equation 4 can be written as f3 of b is equals to maximum over z between 0 to b of z into b minus z divided by 2 bracket square let z of b minus z into b minus z divided by 2 bracket square is maximized by using calculus as follows let y is equals to z into b minus z divided by 2 bracket square for maximum or minimum of y dy by dz is equals to 0 find out the derivative of this with respect to z derivative of z with respect derivative of z is 1 this b minus z divided by 2 bracket square as it is plus z as it is derivative of this b minus z divided by 2 bracket square is equals to 2 into b minus z divided by 2 and derivative of this b minus z divided by 2 is minus 1 by 2 equal to 0 then multiplication of 1 gives b minus z divided by 2 bracket square as it is here this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled out this 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 into z is minus z by 2 and this b minus z is remain from these two terms we can take common b minus z divided by 2 then in the remaining bracket we get b minus z divided by 2 and minus into z is equals to 0 we know that multiplication of two terms is equals to 0 then one of them will be 0 we can take this second term equal to 0 as b minus z divided by 2 minus z is equals to 0 now multiply this 2 on both side we get b minus z minus 2z is equals to 0 minus z minus 2z gives minus 3z therefore b minus 3z is equals to 0 that is b is equals to 3z and z is equals to b by 3 clearly if we find out it's a second derivative obviously it must be negative as previous case try yourself this term but it must be less than 0 negative term 
therefore y will be maximum at z is equals to b by 3 and maximum value of y is given by y max is equals to z into b minus z divided by 2 bracket square at z is equals to b by 3. Now put z is equals to b by 3 in this expression we get y max is equals to b by 3 into bracket this one by 2 as it is b as it is the value of z is b by 3 whole bracket square. Now b minus b by 3 gives 2b by 3 1 by 2 as it is whole bracket square as it is b by 3 as it is then further simplification this 2 2 gets cancelled it will be b by 3 bracket square and this b by 3 bracket square multiple of b by 3 gives b by 3 bracket cube that will be the maximum value of y therefore y is maximum when y1 is equals to z is equals to b by 3 and y2 is equals to y3 is equals to b by 3 because remaining part is b minus z obviously that will be 2b by 3 and this uh, two parts multiplication of these two parts will be maximum only when they are equal and therefore 2b by 3 will be equally divided by b by 3 hence y2 and y3 that means second and third part will also be b by 3 hence the optimal policy for n is equals to 3 is y1 y2 y3 is equals to b by 3 b by 3 b by 3 and f3 of b is equals to b by 3 bracket q equation number 5 proceeding in this way we will get optimum policy for n is equals to n as follows in the second case y1 and y2 their policy will be b by 2 b by 2 and f2 of b is b by 2 bracket square and for this n is equals to 3 y1 y2 y3 b by 3 b by 3 b by 3 and f3 of b is b by 3 bracket q we generalize this term and the generalized term will be n parts y1 y2 y3 up to yn and each part is b by n b by n b by n if there are two parts it will be b by 2 b by 2 if there are three parts b by 3 b by 3 b by 3 same as there are n parts b by n b by n b by n when we take two parts f2 of b is b by 2 bracket square when we take three parts b f3 of b is equals to b by 3 bracket cube same line fn of b is equals to b by n raised to n and this will be optimum policy for n is equals to n now is it true it will be uh, trivially true for we have to check out it that means we have to check this equation number six this equation number six is generalization and now we have to check this generalization is exist or not and for that we have to use method of induction we know the method of induction in method of induction first we prove the result for n is equals to 1 then suppose that the result is true for some n is equals to m and we have to prove that the result is true when it is true, uh, true for n is equals to m we have to prove that it is true for n is equals to m plus 1 if it exists we can say that this result is true mathematically for all natural number n and that procedure we have to apply here the result in equation 6 can be proved by using induction process as follows clearly equation 6 is true for n is equals to 1 which we have to prove already let equation 6 be true for some n is equals to m that means these parts m parts y1 y2 y3 up to ym and these parts are b by m b by m b by m each value will be b by m and their maximum obtainable product f m b is equals to b by m bracket raised to m equation number 7 
and now we have to show that equation 6 is true for n is equals to m plus 1. We have Bellman's principle of optimality f of m plus 1 b is equals to maximum over z between 0 to b of z into fm of b minus z equation number 8. <coughs> Since fm b is equals to b by m raised to m fm of b minus z is equals to b minus z divided by m raised to m. Hence, equation 8 can be written as f of m plus 1 b is equals to maximum over z between 0 to b of z into b minus z divided by m raised to m. Let z into b minus z divided by m raised to m is maximized by using calculus as follows. Let y is equals to z into b minus z divided by m raised to m. For maximum or minimum of y, dy by dz is equals to 0. Now find out its derivative as previous. Derivative of z is equals to 1. b minus z divided by m raised to m as it is plus z as it is. Now find out its derivative. It will be m into b minus z divided by m raised to m minus 1. And derivative of this term b minus z divided by m with respect to z is minus 1 upon m equal to 0. Now simplify this. It will be b minus z divided by m raised to m. The simplification of this, this m and this m gets cancelled out. And this minus sign outside, it gives minus z into b minus z divided by m raised to m minus 1 equal to 0. Now from these two terms take b minus z divided by m raised to m minus 1 common. We get b minus z divided by m minus z is equals to 0. Again here product of these two terms equal to 0. Hence one of them will be 0. We take b minus z divided by m equal minus z equal to 0. Multiplied by m it gives b minus z minus mz is equals to 0. Take z common. It gives b in b minus m plus 1 into z equal to 0. Transfer this term b is equals to m plus 1 z and obviously z is equals to b by m plus 1. And in this case also second derivative t2y by dz square will be less than 0. Hence y is maximum at z is equals to b by m plus 1. And Maximum value of y is given by z into b minus z divided by m raised to m at z is equals to b by m plus 1. Substitute this value of z in this expression. We get b by m plus 1 into 1 upon m into b minus b by m plus 1 whole bracket raised to m. Now simplify this b minus b by m plus 1. Obviously it will be mb divided by m plus 1 cross multiply this 1b will be cancelled out and mb will be remaining whole bracket rest to m now again mm gets cancelled out it gives b by m plus 1 into b by m plus 1 rest to m it will be b by m plus 1 rest to m plus 1 that will be the maximum value of y thus the equation 6 be true for n is equals to m plus 1. That is y1, y2, y3 up to ym, ym plus 1. These are m plus 1 parts and these values will be b divided by m plus 1, b divided by m plus 1 up to p divided by m plus 1. And its maximum attainable product of these m plus 1 terms f m plus 1 of b is equals to b by m plus 1 raised to m plus 1 equation number 9 hence by principle of mathematical induction the result in equation 6 is true hence the optimal policy of given problem is given by equation 6 as y1 y2 y3 up to yn is equals to b by n b by n up to b by n means each part is of 
p by n is of length p by n and maximum attainable product fn of b is equals to b by n raised to n hence the result that gives the result this is the more general example <coughs> These are the reference books. Thank you for watching this video.